Greetings. My name's Tim Morton, and I'm the developer of the Bible Analyzer Bible Study System, which you can find at BibleAnalyzer.com. Also, the developer of the Popverse Bible Study System, which you can find at the Chrome Web Store, where you can put it on uh, as an extension on any Chrome browser. And now the Lord has allowed us to develop another app, which is a web app called MyKJV.com. It has its own domain, MyKJV.com. You just type that in and it'll bring you to this page. And what MyKJV.com is, is what's known as a progressive web app. Now, if you're like me, you probably haven't heard a whole lot about progressive web apps. They're a pretty recent development. Browsers have just now become to uh, utilize them, but you might ask, well, what is a progressive web app? Well, if you go to Google, you'll come up and it'll, it'll kind of explain what it is. Progressive web apps are web apps that use emerging web browser APIs and features along with traditional progressive enhancement strategy to bring a native app-like user experience to cross-platform web applications. Now, <laughs> that's kind of a long-winded way or technical way to say something. But basically, I believe down here it gives a little better description. It says that a progressive web app run in standalone window instead of a browser tab. They're launchable from the user's home screen, dock, taskbar, or shelf. And more or less what it's saying is a progressive web app is a, is a web app that you can install on your computer and on your mobile device, that is your phone, your tablet, or your notebook, laptop, or computer, and it will all run the same. It will be the same app, but it is a cross-platform. It will run anywhere, and it will even run offline, and that's the key thing. You can have a progressive web app, an app that's normally online, which, you know, people access online, and it gets all of its data online off of a server, but a progressive web app is able to operate offline. And that was one of the key reasons that I wanted to develop a progressive web app was so people could have a app that they could use online or also install onto their phone. For instance, here we go to mykjv.com and you'll notice that it kind of looks like uh, similar to other web apps that you'll see. This one has the cross references of the Treasury Scripture Knowledge, the top four over here, which you can put the cursor over and, and they will pop up. You can click one of those and it will take you, you scroll to it and, uh, and show you the reference within the chapter. And you can hide that. It has a paragraph mode. You, you can click it and read it in a paragraph mode. You can also select verses by simply clicking on them. That is if you're using a computer like I am here. You could select these verses you could go up here and copy them to the clipboard or you can add them to a verse list and then view the verse list and right there they'll be and these verses can be highlighted there and deleted or you know you can if, if you find there's some there you don't want anymore you can just uh, clear the ones that are marked and so forth and it does basic uh, web app type things but more than that if you'll notice up here in your address bar you'll see that there's a little plus sign. Now this, I'm using the Brave browser, which is uh, based on the Chromium browser technology, which is the same thing that Chrome. So if you've got Chrome, Brave, the new Microsoft Edge, uh, the uh, Apple Safari, and others that uh, have this technology built in, you'll find the little plus sign up here. And the pop-up there says, Install My KJV Bible. So if I click that, what it'll do, it will ask me, do you want to install this as an app? I click install, and there, look right here, it comes up as an app. It's no longer part of the browser. I could close the browser. It's made it into an application. And right here, it does everything it did when it was in the browser, even though now it's standalone. It actually, I can't show it to you right now, but it put a icon on my desktop just like any other installed app. You you don't have to have your browser open. You just uh, double click or open that icon and here is what you'll see. It does everything that the app did online, which is amazing. But you'll say, what about mobile devices? Yes, it will say, yeah, we understand it'll work on desktop. What about mobile devices? Well, I can't give you a, a, a live screen cam of a mobile device, but I can give you some screenshots. 
and let's look look here and see if we can find a, a couple. Right here is what you will see. Let me get it that way. If you go to mykgv.com with an Android browser, this is with Android version 10, you'll notice it looks much the same as what we were looking at. But down here at the bottom, it says add my KGV Bible to the home screen. There, you tap that and it will put the my KJV on to your home screen. And here is a kind of a picture of, of mine. Right there's the app, My KJV Bible. You tap that and it will open just the same as it opened uh, with our desktop app, just like this one. It will open up very similar to that. You also notice, let me bring up another image. Here it is with a different color. You'll notice here it is on the Android browser. There's no browser up here. There's no browse address bar. There's no browser tab. It's an app. See right here you have the same tabs and buttons and you can do the searching and everything else that you could before. It's an app. It's not a website anymore. Even though it does use web technologies, it is a full-fledged app that can be uninstalled. Installed, uninstalled at whim, whenever you want to, just like any other. But the key thing is, it is completely apart from the, uh, the app stores. You know, the Play Store for Google and also the App Store for Apple. But now I'm going to show you how it'll work on a mobile device. Now, like I said, I can't do screencasts of a mobile device, but here is an emulator. And this is just in the Chrome browser itself. When you have developer tools on, you can click a button up there and it'll turn it into an emulator for a mobile device. Notice there how the cursor looks like a little round gray area. That's a represents your fingerprint. But watch. We, you can swipe. See there? I swipe it, uh, it. The chapter increases. I swipe the other way. It goes the other way. W with our cross references, now I just tap it, and there is a pop up. That's the way it looks on a phone. And then you just tap it again, and it goes away. And if you want to mark your verses, you just double tap like we did before. You just double tap them, and it will highlight them. You go up here click your verse list or whatever and if you want to add it to your verse list then you can look at your verse list and there they are. Simple. We found there's been surveys, many surveys have been done in the past about Bible software and you know uh, a lot of Bible software has a, a lot of different features, a lot of sometimes complicated features. But surveys have been done to show what the people really want out of a Bible software and it's pretty simple. They want a software where they can read the Bible, they can read the Bible, they can uh, read through it, they can conveniently change pages as you can do with this app. They want a Bible that you can search from, like right here, there's the word love, we'll do a search. You'll notice that it instantly, very, very fast, popped up and found all the terms for love in the Bible, highlighted them, and there's even a nice little graph here. You just tap that and it'll take you to the first hit of that book and you can tap it again and it'll take you back to the top. And people want a Bible, an app that they can use to search the Bible, which this one will do, and also possibly maybe some lists of things. Here are Bible lists, like here's Precious Bible Promises. We have two of those. We have a lot of the, the composite gospel harmonies. We have what did Jesus what were his titles? We click that one. Here's all the titles of Jesus. There's the verses. You want to look at one, you just tap it. There it is. You want to take that verse, you want to double tap that one, and it'll take it over to the Bible to where you'll read it in context. But that, what we have just shown you through surveys and most people that want a Bible software, that is what they want it to do. And that's what this app does. That's what we concentrated on the basics. We concentrated on the very basics of what people need and what they want. Being able to read the Bible, search the Bible, study the Bible is what you really need. This is mykjv.com. It's available. It's free, and it always will be free. And anyone that wants to download it can download it and try it out. And we hope you find it of value in your studies. We've long wanted to have some type of a mobile app. We couldn't convert Bible Analyzer into a mobile app because they're entirely different technologies they're based on. But this web technology allowed us to make this web app and we hope people will pick it up, we hope people will read it, and we hope people will consult it, and we hope people will 
better understand what the Lord has to say to us. Thank you.